Welcome to the WMG Lecture Series. I'm Allison Longuera, publisher of WMG Publishing. And today we're going to be talking about organization and why organization is so important when you are um, acting as your own publisher or even running a small press uh, in order to make sure that no steps get missed in the process and you can find everything you need when you need it. Um, there are a lot of files generated by publishing. Um, electronic files and paper files. And there are ways to handle that. Um, if you're an electronic only person, you can easily turn all of your paper copies into uh, electronic files and, uh, and vice versa. Um, in some cases, you can turn, a well, you could theoretically turn anything into a paper file. Um, just depends on how many reams of paper you want to go through in order to uh, make sure you have it. But you can do that as well. I'm going to teach you um, how to organize both ways and um, actually in a combination of both. Uh, but in order to keep all of your information at your fingertips so that um, you don't waste any time when you are trying to, when you're publishing your book or down the road if you need to make a change, you can find everything you need um, right away. You don't have to spend a lot of time trying to dig through and see, you know, is this the right version or where did that file go? Um, you know, the, as an author, um, first and foremost, you know how valuable that time is. And losing an hour um, of writing time because your publishing um, persona is disorganized will really um, begin to add up. So we're going to go through that today and talk about um, the reasons for why you, you want to keep track of that. I, again, um, you know, as a writer, you know how um, critical it is to keep track of your various versions of your manuscript, for example. Um, you, you know, if you are an outliner, you've got that information. You might have research information that you need to keep track of. Um, you might have a character list that you need to keep track of that you need to be able to reference readily. Um, and you certainly will have um, likely multiple versions of your manuscript depending on how you write. You might write, you know, if you write out of order, you're going to have probably different files in different places. Um, but regardless, you're going to need to keep track of that information. Um, and certainly if you, um, as you send a version out to, um, if you're sending it out to, uh, for example, if you have a short story, you're sending it out to a magazine, you're going to have to have it in a specific format. That might be another file. Um, when you send it out to your copy editor, your first reader, um, you know, your, your proofer, all of those are going to be different versions of the file. And if you're not already, you want to make sure you always keep um, each of those versions because you never know when uh, an error could be introduced at some step and you might have to go back and uh, trace back to where that error got inserted or, um, you know, something might have, you might have changed something at one point and then decide you wanted to go back and see um, what you had had originally. It's very important to keep um, those kind of things. Now, um, you know, electronic, we, we have so much room these days on our electronic devices. I mean, our hard drives are multiple gigs of information available. And most of the files we're talking about keeping are very small. So there is absolutely no reason not to keep track of every version of that electronic file and name them accordingly, um, you know, so you know. Um, you know, revision one, revision two, or, you know, formatted, proofed, whatever you want to put on there. We'll talk more about naming files later in the lecture. Um, so you can keep track of things and to make sure that you have everything where, where you want to have it. Um, just as a general rule, I recommend that you have, um, that you have a paper copy of really important information, um, contracts, things like that. You probably want to keep those in a fireproof safe. Um, just as a backup, contracts and licenses, that kind of thing. Um, you know, you, uh, and probably um, also in a fireproof safe, you're going to want to keep an electronic backup of, of your information. And I recommend you keep backups in a couple different ways. Um, there are, you can get an external hard drive, which is not, um, these days, not that expensive. Uh, if you are on a Mac, for example, there is a program called, um, uh, now I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's called um, Time Machine. 
Sorry. Yeah, you think I would be able to remember that, uh, given how many sci-fi books we publish here. Um, it's called Time Machine, and you can set it to automatically update. I'm sure that there are similar um, things you can get for a PC. I haven't used PCs in a while, so I'm not as familiar with what the uh, methods are on there. So you hear me talk about Macs a lot more than you will hear me talk about PCs. Um, but uh, I have my Time Machine set to automatically clone my hard drive every day onto the, um, the external hard drive. And that way I can actually go in and if I something happened, a file got corrupted, I can actually go in and go back to a version from, um, I mean, there's so much room on this external hard drive I have, I can go into a version that I saved uh, two years ago. Um, so it, it, it's really important to have that, that capability. This becomes even critically more important if someone else uses, um, uh, either uses your computer or is um, helping you with your publishing. For example, if you're running a small press and you have uh, an assistant or even a staff of people, it's very important um, that you have that backup information because you just never know. People are human, they make mistakes, things happen, um, your cat could jump on your keyboard while you are away and delete an entire file. I mean, you know, it, it, stranger things have happened. So it's important to have those backups. Um, so again, paper copies of uh, things that are critically important, um, like contracts and licenses, that kind of thing, uh, in a fireproof safe, um, uh, or even in, in an offsite in a safety deposit box, something like that, but minimum in a fireproof safe. Um, you want to have a flash drive of um, important files um, backed up and in that safe, and then um, preferably an external hard drive that you've got backing up every single day. And, um, you know, that's the type of thing that when you, you know, you might take your external hard drive with you, depending on what, what you're doing. I mean, you want to make sure it's secure as well. You don't want to uh, wind up losing it. But it's, uh, it's really important to have backups in an off-site location, um, ideally, um, but at, like I said, at, at the least in a, in a fireproof safe. So you, you have to determine how, um, how you want to work that out. Um, you know, things cost money, so you have to determine what your budget is, but those would be my recommendations. So, um, so again, fire, theft, um, accidents. Accidents are really the biggest thing um, that you have to worry about. Uh, making sure you have all this information easily recoverable so you lose really no time if you have to go and find this information again. That is critical and will save you a lot of heartache um, in the long run. So, all right, up next we're going to talk about paper versus electronic a little bit more and what I recommend you keep wearing.